our new solar panels are in. They are much bigger than the old ones, which means that the old mounting system isn't going to work. So, we have this leftover mahogany from the galley that we didn't need because I grossly overcalculated how much wood we would need for that. So we got all this really strong mahogany left, and I'm going to use that to build the frame and the supports and everything for the solar panels. serious thing that happens and it's actually really hard to see a car in the fog so one of the cool okay, local regulations that every vehicle has to have is a rear facing fog light so what they do is they take either one of the reverse lights or just another light and it's a super bright red light in the back that way you can spot the car way off in the fog and today we need it today is another day of hiking and exploring. We got a bit of a later start because we were physically exhausted from yesterday, uh, but that's a good thing. It means we actually got exercise for once, so we're going to push ourselves to do another hike today, and this one is supposed to be really, really beautiful, so I'm excited. I've been trying to do this hike since we got to Terceira six months ago. It's really cold. <laughs> it was so sunny in Angra. Oh, here comes the sun. A little bit. Landscape is just gorgeous. This is the most popular hike on the island. So we're about to find out why. That's crazy. Oh, this is gorgeous. Mad. This is beautiful. Ooh. About to get way more beautiful. We're going in. Here's one for dreamers who took that step. Here's one for every time they jumped there. without a net. Here's one for misfits. Voices say that there's no way you'll ever make the grade. Let's say you try and you fall from high. When the sun is set, will you regret the fall or the times you did nothing at all? otherworldly look at this tree what what tree does that this is incredible it's just so lush and green and mossy and like fantasy land the ground and feel no shame you're scared to fly in the endless sky when the voices say Words. Will you regret so the fall? The times you did. 
Let your dreams to wither on the vine Why is your brain refusing? What are you scared of losing? If you don't try, you'll fail every time You're scared of I just want to pet these so soft. Exactly what it looks like it would feel like. And all the trees are wearing sweaters. Okay, so we don't know what this is. Like, it's this super lush and then barren down there. Such a stark contrast from everything around it. It's so cool to see the parallels between what's underwater and what's on land. So this tree looks identical to this giant elkhorn crawl that we saw in, uh, in the Bahamas, right outside of the Rocky Dundas. back into the forest so it was like lush fairyland forest then volcano rock and now forest again That are legends of the fall. <laughs> the whole bush of it. Oh. How far does it go? All the way down to the bottom. <laughs> really? I mean, it's flat ground, and yeah. that's. I loved every bit of that trail. It was beautiful. I hope to come back, but if not, I'm so glad we did that. 
Since we have the car for one more night, we've made reservations for one of the most talked about places to eat on the island um, by tourists. It's called Taverna Roberto, and it's just supposed to be really good. We pre-ordered, we called yesterday and um, asked for filet mignon, so that's our favorite, and we're really excited to reward ourselves for all the hard work we've done. Okay, we're here. So we're starting off with some wild caught rabbit, along with some bread with fig jam and uh, local cheeses. Cheese of the island and homemade bread. It's delicious. Taki, this and I will put on the fire and make the sauce for the baby. originally applied for a residency visa and um, we gave you all of the stuff for that but yes the temporary stay visa um, but you fought you filed it under the workers visa that's how you submitted it um, right but we're not working in Portugal so we it would not be a, a workers visa that we're applying for well, they haven't sent it to you, but they have come to our boat and told us this. Mitch? No, I just don't have anything to say. I'm really pissed off. Well, at least April 13th, it all gets sorted out. No, it doesn't. Yeah, like, that's the date that stuff gets sorted. So when no, they... That's the date he has to approve it by. Oh. Lovely. All right. If he doesn't approve it by April 13th, then it's just not approved. What he needs to do is say, I can't approve this, it's the wrong visa application, and then she can cancel it, and we can start a new one for the residency, which it should have been in the first place. Yeah. What we really need to do is talk to Carla instead of this guy, because this guy doesn't seem to want to approve residence, or visas at all. Because he just has a million excuses that are roundabout that say that, no, you don't qualify. And then the moment you clarify that you do, he comes up with something new. We had a fun time with this guy this morning because he said that, uh, one, we can't... Uh, the income that we make doesn't count as a job because they don't consider YouTubers a job. Uh, the second issue is then he starts going off about you have all this information listed about your dental practice. And the reason I have that is because they said that our YouTube income alone wasn't enough to qualify for residency. Please submit better proof of income. So I submitted what I make and stuff with the dental practice, which that qualifies us. But then his argument is, why do you have that? Why are you putting that information in? Like all these questions it's like, dude, this is the stuff that we needed to do. You have the information. We're not going to be working as dentists here. We work in the States. We bring the cash back. That's how we support ourselves. So it's just like this giant roundabout mess with this guy that just is, is a joy to deal with. Where there's this other agent who's just very competent. And sadly, we weren't able to talk to her today. We talked to the guy who seems to not know what's going on. We're going out to dinner and we have a little coin bin that we usually just dump our change into when we get back to the boat. But the Euro coin is a lot more valuable than the US quarter, <laughs> obviously. So in US and 
In US currency, it's from one to 25 cents. So really the coins aren't worth that much, but in the Euro, they go all the way up to two euros, a two Euro coin. So our little change box that we had ended up when we counted it one time, it had 47 euros in it. So we're going to dinner and we got like, well, this, this handful is actually 22 euros. So they're gonna love us when we go and pay our bill in coins. And we're gonna eat our bilge cheese, which has been in the bilge for two years. Two years. A lot to do today, so we're headed back to the boat to get all of our sails out of the quarter berth. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and message us directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.